Um, I think yes. Uh, so we have just reached the second stage. So the IGF is still a young baby. Mm -hmm. So and there is a working group now, the IGF Improvement Working Group on the Commission for Science and Technology Development. I myself, I'm a member of this working group, mm -hmm. and um, I think the if. This group makes the right recommendation so that the IGF becomes more than a talking shop, mm -hmm. becomes a um, clearing house, becomes um, a, a, a laboratory for new policy making, becomes probably a watchdog. Uh, all these are new functions, you know, which can be developed, but has to be developed. It means you have to have a good uh, uh, team in place and you have to have engaged stakeholders. In so far, it's a pity that the United Nations machinery takes such a long time to replace Markus Kummer as the executive director of the, of the IGF, who uh, um, uh, resigned in January. And now, after nine months, so no executive director was nominated. So this is bad and shows that the UN procedures are really, uh, you know, probably not the best procedures to meet the challenges of the Internet age, which has a higher speed. And the IGF works with a higher speed. But the good thing is that the IGF here in Nairobi demonstrates that probably all this political environment is not needed because it meanwhile uh, has developed an energy and a power in itself that it can uh, go on its own. It's good to be linked to the United Nations, but probably the IGF can be successful also, uh, I would not say without the United Nations, but with a greater distance to the United Nations.